I'm at Oz Agritech 2024 Investor Showcase, and I'm fortunate enough to be with Daniel from Biosynth. Daniel, how are you, mate? Good to meet you. Thank you. Yes, I'm well. Okay. Daniel, you're doing something quite exciting. You're mm. turning agricultural and horticultural waste yes. into a value-added product using insects. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And there's quite a bit of growth in this industry around the world, and you're seeing a lot of applications here in Australia as well. Yeah, it's, it's surprising how big it is, and there's not much awareness, but there's already over 50 companies um, internationally, quite large production facilities, yep. that are producing insects for protein and oil and for fibre. So, what, what are the big hits with, with because I've, you know everyone says, well, I'm not eating insects, Yes. but they're useful for a lot of things. What are the big hit products so far that are coming out of the insect industry? So yeah, there's not really social license, certainly in developed countries for mm. insect protein, um, yeah. but it is, it is a, an incredible protein source, a complete protein. Uh, so you can sell actually insect protein into aquaculture for aquafeed. Um, so fish food? Fish food, yes, um, yep. as pet food, because it's hyperallergenic and it all, also has all these amazing health benefits. It's good for your, uh, for dogs, you know, gut uh, microbiome. Um, it's good for their oral um, hygiene. It's, yeah, there's, there's quite a, a long list of, of health benefits that is coming out from the research that's, that's um, been undertaken, looking at insects and, and their benefit for consumption. So there's some really good applications already, yes. existing applications for pet food and for fish food to make there fish is. farming more sustainable. Yes. And lower emissions, but there's also some good applications in the medical industry, you were telling me off camera as well. Yeah, so certainly um, from insects, you, you predominantly get protein. You know, for black soldier fly, the protein is up around 40%. Oil is around 30% of their body weight. And uh, also chitin, which is a, a polysaccharide, a fiber. And the waste that you're using um, also has a wide range. Tell me about some of the types of waste that you're converting into high value insect protein. Look, it's, we're looking at agricultural waste because it's, it's available in quite large volumes. Um, and often it can be can be dry waste as well, so we're not transporting a lot of water, which you find with if you're using say pre-consumer waste. Um, so ag waste is, is is really great as a source of feed input. Um, and the black soldier fly, it's a generalist eater, so if you've got nutrients, it could be from a number of different agricultural waste streams, uh, and they can utilize that. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's valorizing. I suppose those waste streams that typically end up on fields that then further decompose and generate you know, carbon dioxide and methane and, and contribute to uh, greenhouse um, gases and, and global warming. So, so regulation might drive further this industry in the future, but at the moment people are just seeing it as a way of getting a product that they have that has no value and yes. turning it into a product that has high value. Absolutely. And just as a, as a product on its own, it has some really unique health benefits, apart from just being a complete protein. But then you also have this so it's more societal benefit of the fact that it's reducing greenhouse gases, um, that it's actually helping to valorise what was typically a waste product um, and would be discarded. So it's increasing the social licence of farmers. It is, absolutely. And, and you were telling me off camera that you're um, converting pig manure right down to straw. Uh, so yeah, certainly you can you can raise black soldier fly and other insects on um, fecal matter and, and on, on pig manure and poultry manure, um, but we're not currently using that at the moment. We're using actually plant-based waste streams, mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, you, you can certainly actually generate um, uh, great products from that. Also, straw. Uh, I've I've learned just recently. There's a, a university in in uh, the United Kingdom. They have been able to uh, isolate a particular bacteria that can uh, basically take straw, convert the lignocellulose into starches that insects can then digest to produce, you know, protein, oil, fibre. So uh, it's, that's, that's pretty cool. And a lot of those waste streams do actually contain a lot of um, lignocellulose that is not typically able to be consumed by any animal, but bacteria can convert it and then it can make it available for insects. Fantastic times ahead for ag waste. It and is, adding yeah. value into the stream. Thank Fantastic you. stuff. Thank you very much. If you want to get on to Daniel, you can get in touch with him through Biosynth, and I'll put a link in the description for you. He's based in the Riverina. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, or you'll miss out on talking with fascinating people like Daniel.